Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadong, the board but built for Theme Park News and welcome to another Theme Park Newsroom update where today we've got some big news out of the, the, the premier winter sort of temporary theme park event all year round, uh, every single year at winter time. It is Hyde Park Winter Wonderland. Now, there's tried every single effort to try and get it ready, however we had the announcement just yesterday that Hyde Park Winter Wonderland will not be operating in 2020. It will be returning in 2021. And this is, of course, due to the current COVID-19 pandemic. Now, you know, you guys are probably... Th you guys without a brain cell are probably thinking, oh, the COVID pandemic's just calmed down. You know, everything will be all right. Trust me, it's not. We've all got to keep ourselves safe. We've got to keep ourselves alert. Take every single measure with the greatest care and respect. And, you know, with all that in mind, High Pot Winter Wonderland decided not to open this year. And everyone with a brain cell can say, yes, that's the right decision. Go ahead next year in 2021 instead. Take a year off and just prepare yourself for a bigger and better High Pot Winter Wonderland in 2021. Uh, so in this video, uh, it's all about sharing the official statement. There's not really any opportunity to share my own thoughts about it because I'm pretty much sharing it now. Um, my thoughts about it are just the fact that it's a good move from High Park Winter Wonderland. It's better to operate next year where the situation will be better than it is already. And, you know, operating in a better situation in a better world than try and force an opening this year and sort of you know, keep the spread of coronavirus going on because we want to eliminate that. So, you know, my thoughts on all of that coming out is, you know, right decision by Winter Wonderland. Absolutely 100% the right decision. Those of you who don't think it's the right decision don't have a brain cell, in my opinion, and that's just putting it the nicest way possible. I think this is the right decision. High Park Winter Wonderland should be very grateful and very, you know, proud to put out that statement, even though it is sad, you know, that it won't be operating this year. But... You've got to take into account the bigger picture. What's bigger, you know, a winter theme park temporary for a couple of months or a global pandemic? And you've got to look at it and say the global pandemic is the most important thing. So, you know, I, I fully support this decision. Everyone with a brain cell supports this decision, as does, you know, the, the, the other parks with their Halloween events. We know a lot of Halloween events have been cancelled this year uh, due to the pandemic. There are ones that are going ahead like Scarefest, uh, Fright Nights. Uh, I've heard Chessington Halloween might be announcing their lineup later this week. So hopefully when that information comes out, I'll deliver an update to you guys. You might see an appearance from the hacker in that video. And uh, hashtag who's the hacker. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's still a lot of Halloween events still to announce stuff. York Mace Hallow Scream, that's still going ahead as of this moment. It might change later on, but at the minute it's still going ahead kent scared ground that's a brand new refurbished halloween event from the old margate madhouse uh event so that's a brand newly located and expanded event uh that's still going ahead for its debut this year uh but there are halloween events that aren't going ahead a uh, fear at avon screen park um Dr. Frights announced today that it will be going ahead and it will be going ahead in 2021 instead. So, you know, there's a lot of Halloween events being cancelled till 2021. There's a lot of events that are still going ahead this year. So, you know, people operate, operate in different ways, but the ones that are going ahead are going to stick to the restrictions as much as possible. So, um, before you get started and talk about the statement officially from uh, Hyde Park Winter Wonderland, make sure you like the video if you've loved it, make sure you comment down your thoughts down below, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more thrilling theme park news content uh make sure you click notification bell so you never miss a thrilling video and uh, i just want to put a little message in there obviously um i've spoken all about reality shows and the channel update in the past i want to say a massive shout out to everyone who has been confirmed in the cast for both strictly come dancing 2020 and dancing with the stars 2020 over in the u.s um you can go and check out on social media or the line notes, but I just want to put a little message in there saying congratulations and good luck to the casts of both those shows. And of course, obviously, we'll get the uh, Amber Celeb and the Dancing on Ice lineups further down the months. So I just thought I'd put a little message in there. And for now, guys, let's get into talking about something else themed to winter instead of Dancing on Ice. It is Hyde Park Winter Wonderland 2020. And let's have a look at the statement as to why it's not going ahead and why it's being postponed until 2021. So this statement is officially from High Park's Winter Wonderland and it reads as follows on Instagram. It is with, well, hi, dear High Park Winter Wonderland family. So that's the first statement, first of all, involving us in a family. <laughs> it's with a heavy heart that we share that High Park Winter Wonderland will not be taking place this year. 
Hyde Park Winter Wonderland has always been about bringing friends and family together in a fun, safe and interactive environment to celebrate the festive season. Our team has worked tirelessly exploring every possible option in the hopes of being able to move forward with the event in a responsible manner and provide London with some much needed festive cheer. However, in light of ongoing health concerns, travel restrictions and uncertainty surrounding COVID-19 and considering the size and scale of the event, we just couldn't find a way to do that without compromising the magical attractions, shows, rides, bars and experiences that make Hyde Park Winter Wonderland so special. We know how disappointing this news will be for millions of people we usually welcome each season and we can assure you we share your disappointment having put a lot of work, sweat and even some tears into trying to try and make this year's event possible. Thank you so much for your ongoing support and please stay safe. We can't wait to bring friends and family back together to celebrate the festive season at Hyde Park Winter Wonderland in 2021. That right there is a very, very professionally done statement by Hyde Park Winter Wonderland. Massive respect to them for putting out that statement. And um, like it said at the end there, they can't wait to welcome families back in 2021 to this, to this event. And, you know... I, it, High Park Winter Wonderland is somewhere I've wanted to go for a couple of years and in 2021 you never know I might pop down there to next year's event to support it because I think 2021 is going to be a massive trip year for people obviously staying safe but also going out and supporting parks and attractions and you know different experiences around the country um, and you know help them survive because some parks are probably on the brink of financial closure and some attractions You know might need some help So 2021 is gonna be all about supporting these events and Hyde Park Winter Wonderland is an event that I know many people are going to be supporting next year in 2021 heading down there um, to the event uh, and like I said, I'm, I've been there. I've never been at this event, and I wanted to go for a couple of years. So 2021, I might pop down there uh, to uh, to support this event. And uh, you know, I've seen vlogs from many different people over the last few years from High Park Winter Wonderland, and it is it does look like a massive, massive temporary theme park, and it's brilliant. So um, you know, it would be great to go out and support that event next year in 2021. So uh, fingers crossed, I can try and get that organised next year. Uh, but it's a long way till winter 2021. We're not even in winter this year yet, so uh, you know it's it's a long way to go. But you know we've got to you know keep thinking on our toes, keep looking out for the latest guidelines, and uh, hopefully this coronavirus will be completely you know extinguished in 2021. Hopefully we can completely extinguish it and try and get back to normality. You know once we've extinguished the virus around the world. So um, there we go. So that is the statement from Hyde Park Winter Wonderland. We do have a couple of other news updates uh, still to come today. Uh, Poulton's Park uh, with their Tornado Springs opening date. That update will be coming later this afternoon so please stay tuned for that. And also just in case, now I know there's no announcement video for the chain, however, the parks that haven't released their 2021 attractions, the new ones yet, may still announce something separately. So, we're going to be keeping close eye on Six Flags today, because today is set to be one of the announcement days. It was either the first, second, or the third, because it usually usually before Labor Day. So... You know, I think we're going to keep eyes on Six Flags. So potentially, it's today's update on Poulton's Park today with the bonus of Six Flags as a third update. Uh, so once all that comes out, if it comes out late at night, then it'll be, you know, the usual what I did last year. If there's any videos from the park's individual channels, then I'll upload them separately and then do the analysis of those attractions tomorrow in more detail when I've got light and I've got, you know, more time. So... You know, that'll be the sort of formula if they're released this afternoon before the sun goes down and the stars come out, as the Wanted would sing. <laughs> Bit of a Strictly uh, rumour in there. Congratulations to the Wanted singer Max uh, for taking part this year. <laughs> and um, yeah, basically in those words, once the sun, if the sun doesn't go down and the stars don't come out yet, then obviously I will be able to film an analysis on the Magic Mountain Raptor, if the SNS and the Premier Coaster are coming in 2021, or if they've been delayed till 2022. Um, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. I think we'll have to keep our eyes peeled today on Six Flags. But at the very least, it will be today's update on Poulton's Park coming out today. 
But for now, guys, thank you very, very much. Stay tuned for a news update on Poulton's Park coming later this afternoon and possibly Six Flags as well. And for now, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a thrilling theme park newsroom update. That's our main principle on the channel. Yes, we can vlog from the parks. Yes, we can do closed but not forgotten videos. Yes, we can do reviews and fact files and, you know, all that malarkey and next five year plans, which I am going to be recording more of, by the way. Um... You know, but our main content is the latest theme park news, and that's what we do. We do it in a natural, relaxed environment, if you want a bit of an advertisement for how the channel works. And, uh, yeah, that's how we work. The main content is the latest theme park news. We do it in a nice, natural, relaxed environment. Have a bit of fun with it. And, uh, yeah, just natural conversation, really. Uh, but for now, guys, uh, thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Stay tuned for the rest of the videos today. Keep living the coaster life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.